Assalamualaikum Hai hai sobat gen Hai sobat gen Selamat bergabung barengan sama Marsha Hari ini seperti yang sudah di-share di IG-nya Gen FM ya Udah di-post di feed-nya Gue bakal ngobrol-ngobrol sama Mahar Zain Waduh dak dik dik der rasanya ya yang pasti uh, gue bakal ngobrol sama doi mengenai uh, single terbarunya juga dan gimana ya suasananya di Swedia nah buat yang penasaran ngobrol sama siapa <laughs> coba lihat tuh di uh, fitnya IG nya Gen FM tuh Marsha bakal ngobrol sama siapa Hai selamat sore nih buat Clara Bella Reski Joko Terus juga ada siapa lagi nih? Ada Nindi, hai. Terus juga ada pemakan batu. <laughs> Kita bakal nungguin requestannya dari cowok yang satu ini nih. Yang pasti nih, nanti Marsha mohon maaf nih ya, bakal ngobrol pakai bilingual gitu. Jadi uh, karena Doi tinggal di Swedia ya. Mohon maklum lah ya, dia kagak bisa bahasa Bekasi Sobat Gen <laughs> sebenarnya sih Dia udah pernah bikin uh, Single yang bahasa Indonesia ya Tapi kalau misalkan ngobrol, ngobrol pakai bahasa Indonesia kayaknya hmm, Agak bingung juga ya guys Oke okay, kita bakal nungguin Yes bener banget Reski Kurnia Kita bakal live barengan Sama Maher Zain. jadi kita akan nunggu ya Iya, yep. belum ketahuan nih requestannya nih ya. Hey, <laughs> hi, Sheila, Crescencia. Ini kenapa ngakak Agustin? <laughs> Halo, Yosi Susilo, Wilova. Hai, selamat sore. Sambil kita bakal nungguin kehadiran dari Bapak Maharzain. Kita bakal ngobrol sama Maharzain. Gimana ya rasanya ya? Bakal gue panggil apa nih kira-kira? Uh, Her? Maher? Etsy ya? Oke, okay. Maher Zain join Oke, okay, sebentar lagi ya Sobat Gen ya Gue masih akan nungguin requestannya dari Maher Zain hmm, Bersiap-siap nih Oke, okay, ini Maher Zain Hai Coba kita cek Mana Maher Zain ya? Requestnya Halo. mana ya? Kok aku belum lihat ya? <laughs> Apakah ada yang ter lewatkan? Coba coba coba. Mana ya? Mas Maher Zain ya. Mas Maher Zain, coba tolong di request lagi. <laughs> Maher Zain, where are you? I cannot see your request. So, let's see. Mana? Ya sama aku juga udah gak sabar Tapi kok aku belum ketemu ya requestannya ya Dimanakah Crescencia tadi Nih coba kita cek lagi ke atas-atas ya Coba uh, Mana Maher Zain where are you I cannot see your request Where is it Mana ya Where is it I cannot see it Oke, okay. go live with Maher Zain official. Let's go. Oh iya, yeah. mohon maklum ya, agak sedikit gaptek nih. Oke, okay, kita bakal nunggu Maher Zain. Sebentar lagi. Hello, brother. Hello, assalamualaikum. Apa kabar? Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm I had, fine. I had, some, I had some problem finding what to request, but I think you requested, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good, that's good. That's good. So now it works. So, uh, <laughs> Is it good in there? Alhamdulillah, your... it's fine. Sorry? How was your Ramadan so far? Alhamdulillah, Ramadan is going great. It's just sad that it's ending very soon. So it went yeah. too fast. I, I, I felt this year went too fast, way too fast. So yeah. Yeah, we are so happy uh, happy to have you here in Thank you. Geneva. Yeah. Thank you. So thank all you. the audience here, <laughs> yes. we call it, uh, we call them Sobat Gen. So? Sobat Gen. Sobat Gen. 
Sobat Gen, yeah, that means yeah, like yeah. Yeah. I, I remember that now, yeah. Sobat Gen. Yeah, <laughs> Sobat yes. Gen. Yes. So, uh, my name is Marsha. Nice by to way. meet you, Marsha. Yeah, and I would like to know about your latest single. But yes. before that, I want to know like the situation in your hometown. Like, yeah, all we know that we are in this pandemic COVID-19, right? So Yes, yes. So, yes. yes. I mean, alhamdulillah, you know, in, in, uh, in Sweden, as everyone knows, you know, we've got a lot of critics because uh, it's still like the, the life is still pretty much as normal, but there's a lot of restrictions, you know? So they, they're basically saying you cannot gather more than 50 people and you need to keep yeah. distance. Like now every, every store that you go to, every... Uh, like supermarket, there's always signs like keep distance, one and a half meter, or two, two meters, etc. Yeah, physical they distancing, have, right? They even have disinfections here and there. So, so uh, mm -hmm. like they provide that for, for the customers as well. So, but, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the situation here in Sweden. People mm -hmm. are worried, uh, especially in the beginning, they were very worried, you know, like you saw a lot of people mm -hmm. going bulking up and buying a lot yes, of stuff and like everyone did <laughs> everywhere in the world, you know. And, um, uh, but 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 as like as time passed people eased a little bit more you know they got more relaxed because i think you know yeah. people panic when they see other people panic uh yeah. so uh, so but i think i get the same everywhere yes i guess it's the same everywhere in the world you know so we yeah. pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is this you know, on us all, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. So, um, I want to know, like, what is the hikmah from all of this for you? For you? For you? <laughs> Allah alam. I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's like so many things. You know, we we've seen and we've heard about many things during this. You know, I mean, like because of this, hikmah. Allah alam. Only Allah subhanahu wa taala knows what the what the like the wisdom behind yes. the whole thing is. But but as we know, you know, there's there's positives and negatives in everything, you know, and uh, obviously the sad things, uh, the negative things are that, uh, yani, um, people are losing, you know, relatives and family members and parents yeah. and grandparents, etc. That's obviously, of course, especially that's the this Ramadan, part, right? So much different, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, of course. But then you have like the positive things that people, you know, got a pause in their lives, you know. The world, yeah. you know, is standing still a little bit. People get the chance to reflect and think and rethink, you know, and rethink again because there's so many, so many days and time, you know, spent at home. So, yeah. so I think there's a lot of there's a lot of good things that will come out of this as well. Even even with Ramadan, like here yeah. Ramadan, you, it's so different. You know, we used to go to the masjid, to the mosque, and pray that Yeah, the mosque. You know, and, right. and meeting and even the people. Idol having, fitri, right? Sorry. The idol fitri. Yes, yes, that's going to be a lot different as well, you know. So, yes. so all of these things. But, but you know, I heard, I heard a, a, an imam said something really, really nice in the beginning of Ramadan, which, like, you know, mm -hmm. he, it, it got to me. He said, he said, usually, you know, we go to Ram we go to the mosque, we pray tarawih there, but now yeah. because we have to do it at home, you will put, you will be put into test. Like, will you, will you still <laughs> do it, or were you doing it, be were you doing it before just because of the voice of the imam or or just to go there with a friend or like mm. uh, you know for the environment to meet people and say salam and hug each other and this and that because tarawih and qiyam and praying is actually something that you do between you and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah, so when you awesome. so when you are now in your house will you be doing that still doing that or will you sit lazy and watch tv and such so you will be put <laughs> into test you will test your own yeah. self you know so that was something oh, really that was, yeah mm. So, so alhamdulillah, no, for me, for me, Ramadan has been amazing. It's always, I love Ramadan, yeah. the feeling, you know, the fasting, the breaking the fast, like the, the, the whole thing, you know. You know, of course, this year there was no, uh, like, invitations. We didn't have family over. We didn't go to anyone. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's, that's like the difference, you know. But, yeah. but there's something that I like about this, that I don't go to ha any houses. And, you know, <laughs> is that there's <laughs> not so much food in front of me. So when I'm hungry... You know, I yeah. choose now. I choose. We put soup on the table, which is harira. <laughs> so we, we, we have soup and, and basically uh, soup and dates and water and stuff like that. And that's it. And then we go yeah. pray and then we come back, you know. But oh usually God, yeah. when, when you have people all over and, uh, 
and you are visiting other people, then you have a lot of food in front of you and obviously you will eat and then you feel like that, you know, dead. So, <laughs> I see. So, yeah, so anyway, uh, we would like to congrats you about your latest single. Yay, Thank you so much. Thank that's, you. Salam. That's, that's, salam. that's really great. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, I've uh, watched it like maybe 10 times or 12, I, I forgot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like this Ramadan, I repeat it over and over again. <laughs> yeah, because I really want to know about the lyrics itself. Like you say peace and salam so many times. So yes. what's uh, the story behind the song? Actually, I think, you know, many of us everywhere in the world, you know, we have, we have, we are, we are always searching for that inner peace, you know, it's not yes. just like the outer peace in the world and stuff, but we have something, we have an inner struggle. And that's something that I've had all my life. And I guess like many people, you know, who especially related to this song, you know, they, they feel that as well. Like you have, even though you're smiling outside, you're happy, you know, you, you are, you, you live a normal life, you know, and this and that, but there's always something inside that you think about. Yeah. You have questions unanswered. You have so many things just like around you that, that make you feel like, why is it like that? Why is it like this? Why yeah. like, you know, so, so, uh, so I think, I think that's what basically inspired the lyrics, you know, like about mm -hmm. doubts, about, uh, you know, you, you have doubts, you have insecurities, like I wrote in the song. Insecurities, that's yes, right. Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, and, and, uh, yeah. every time. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's like, there's really like, there's, there's something that many people don't know about me. Like people may, might think that I'm very secure and this and that, but mm -hmm. I've always been insecure, like since my childhood, yeah. you know? Alhamdulillah, obviously, I'm I'm a grown man now, and uh, like I can I can handle things differently, and uh, but yeah. but still, there's always some things you know that's that's there, you know. So so you yeah. always have that inner struggle, and I know there's a lot of people going through the same thing. So I thought this song would inspire, inshallah, and and you know, and uh, you know when you feel when you feel someone else is going through what you're going through, then it eases mm -hmm. your pain somehow, you know. Like yeah. you're not you're not the only person going through yes. hard ships and like now you know during this uh, covid uh, 19 virus yeah. all over the world everyone's going all through the same the thing world. everywhere you know it's yes. crazy it's crazy it never happened you know in our time at least <laughs> so good, yeah good. So, it's, so, so alhamdulillah I, you know we released a song and the salam and uh, people had a great you know we had a great response from people and uh, yeah. people said you know this is what we needed and it resonated with them during this difficult times and you know so alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. I'm happy that um, it has it had that effect on on everyone. It touched. It, it, uh, the song is really touching. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, because we know that Antasam is really, really touching uh, song. So I would mm -hmm. like you maybe sing a little bit of that song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. I can say should, should I sing just like the the the, the chorus? Yeah, it's sure. A small part of the chorus. Okay. Here you go. أنت السلام ومنك السلام تباركت يا يا ذا الجلال والإكرام أنت السلام ومنك السلام تباركت يا يا ذا الجلال والإكرام you know the thing about about this chorus obviously everyone yeah. know everyone who you know like we muslims you know yeah. when we pray this Every, is like we pray the, yep. yeah we Dua. say this in the in the after after the prayer so this is something that everyone is familiar with and uh, i wanted like you know I, when i when i write lyrics or we you know we we choose you know words we always think about yeah. you know we want children to learn something easily you know so this yeah. is like now parents can tell their kids, you, you know, after you pray, it. this is what you say, you know. So uh, so mm -hmm. my kids, when they heard it, it's like, yeah, I know this, <laughs> you know, from the from the prayer when they when they learn this, etc. So so alhamdulillah, it's a, it's a great way of teaching uh, children, you know, to memorize things. So to memorize, yeah. of course. And mashallah, it's really great <laughs> because so. in this Ramadan, yeah, we feel so much different, and as we know, like. We have to yeah pray yeah. every day, right? Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Alhamdulillah. And um, if I, as I remember that last weekend you released another gift like uh, Asmaullah Husna. Asmaullah Husna, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 
So I heard that this one is really personal, right? So yes, I mean, story? I mean, personal in a way. It was just maybe like when I when I became uh, when I came closer to Islam and I became like started praying. This is like about twelve years ago now, because mm. before you know I I was very far away from Islam before, as many know. So uh, Alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. when I when I uh, came closer, I started listening to a lot of things, and then I I came across this one, you know, this 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 mm -hmm. particular. Uh, as well with the melody and the structure and everything and i really liked it i used to listen to it a lot i remember even like you know in my in my studio i chopped it up so i made it 10 parts because i wanted to memorize it you know so i made it like one part and then you can just repeat 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 and then the second part repeat repeat it so i've i've wanted to release it i mean uh, record it long time ago mm -hmm. uh, and it's not it's not b before it was more for me i wanted to memorize it you know so it wasn't like to release or anything but now when, when Ramadan came here and I got like to hear it, it just like popped up. Someone sent it to me on WhatsApp, you know, and, uh, and I was like, oh man, well, it's a good, good timing, I think, to release it during this time and, yeah. and days, you know. So, yeah. so Alhamdulillah, so I'm, I'm very happy that we did it. And it was a, just like, just something that wasn't planned, actually. It just came up. I recorded it, I think, before releasing it, I recorded like one week before that. So it wasn't like, mm. it wasn't planned, we're going to do this in the end of Ramadan or anything. It was just like, Hmm, good idea. Let's do it. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm really, I'm really happy that we did it. Like as we know, kun faya kun, right? <laughs> <laughs> one week, just one week. One, <laughs> one week. That's yes. great. So, so, alhamdulillah, yeah. people, people liked it, you know, and uh, a lot of people said I've already memorized it, you know. So, so it's a great thing. May Allah accept, you know. That's a great thing. And uh, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, and maybe uh from you like to those who were being in, in this pandemic COVID-19 do you have any suggestion like what to do at home yeah. <laughs> or maybe something else like uh what we have to do yeah I mean I mean I mean everyone knows their own situation you know how like uh, what how they can you know lift their cells up and uh, what they can do because like here in Sweden as I said we have I wanted to actually ask you how is the situation in Indonesia for you like how? Uh, I think the same. Are you I all? But, all but are you all yeah. at home or or you you're allowed to at go out? At home, yeah. Like working all from home and also like you're not allowed driving. to go out. We have... Actually, we allow to go out, but okay. it's like you know, yeah. Limited. Maybe only uh, if we use uh, the car, it's only two people in the car. And... Ah, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's all. No, I mean, I, I would say what I would say is that you know, we have to try to stay positive. You know. Because as mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you know, Inna ma'al usri yusra, there's always, as they say, you know, there's always these cliches. They said, you know, at the end of the tunnel, you know, after rain comes sunshine and all these kind of things. So we have to believe in this, you know, and, uh, and, and believe that inshallah one day it will pass and we will go back to normal and inshallah it will be even better because people are more mm -hmm. aware. And, uh, you know, so, so I think just uh, like when you're sitting home, Try to be productive. I should say this to myself first <laughs> because I'm not actually unproductive, you know, but, uh, but, but Alhamdulillah, I think, yeah, try to, uh, you know, do things that there's a lot of online stuff. Like if you had yeah. in your mind, oh, I would, I would always in my life, you know, I've always wanted to learn Arabic. Well, go learn Arabic now. You have time, you know, or I want to be uh, whatever, like, you know, uh, expert in this, you know, like this is something yeah. I should say to myself, I should be playing piano more. Like if you want to play an instrument, just do it now. Go on YouTube and find the you know, tutorials. Mm -hmm. and So anything, yeah. like anything that you feel like, I've always wanted to do this, but I don't find the time. But now you have the time. So, you know, yeah. choose something that you really, it could be like a course in, in something. You just want to like uh, learn about whatever, you know, nature or like birds or, you know, animals, anything, anything. Whatever you have, like yeah. whatever interest you have, Try to 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 uh, you know find that or think about that and then find a way to uh, to learn about it. There's a lot of ways on on online, you know. I but see. main the main thing I think is which is the hardest is just like to keep your mm -hmm. spirit up and keep the keep up yeah. the spirit, keep up the positiveness, Correct. you know, and hope. Yeah, the and, positiveness. And be hopeful. Right. Yes, exactly. That's 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 the mm -hmm. thing. We no one knows when this will end. No one knows like yeah. uh, you know when 
we will go back to normal. Always might, the thing, right? You know, it might end up, it might end in a couple of months, but but normal mm. would come after a couple of years. We don't know that, you know. So yeah. so I think I think we should try to make the best out of situation. You know, take a step yeah. back, think, reflect, like about everything, you know. So yeah, really, really. don't take things for granted. I was talking to my wife the other day. I said, Subhanallah, you know, like you can never take take things for granted. Like here in Sweden, it's so peaceful. Everything is like going smoothly. I mean, before. And then all of the thing, all of a sudden, th something like this happens and stops the whole world and work I... and people like, you know, lose their jobs and people lose, lose yeah. their lives. And, you know, so it's it's just like, don't take things for granted, you know. Life is yeah, short. Make the most out of your time and day, you know, when when you have the op the chance to do that. And uh, don't yeah, take nice. things, you know, yeah. Yeah, I see. And my hair, like uh, every people around the world, like as we know nowadays, are using TikTok, right, in their uh, productive uh, productive time. So, <laughs> <laughs> did you ever think about creating TikTok account? Maybe. I've I've heard about it a couple of times, TikTok, TikTok here and there. But you know, for me, <laughs> for me, the problem is there's so many social media. Like, what? How do you keep up with everything? You know, I. I don't understand. But is it is it very popular in Indonesia? Yeah, of course. Like more than really, Instagram. Really more than Instagram. More than Instagram, maybe really? nowadays. What is TikTok? Yeah. Like what is TikTok? TikTok is like Is it like uh, Snapchat? We are singing, like lip sync, yeah, lip sync and then we're dancing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then you continue to I'll, I'll... spread it all around your social media like wow. maybe for comedy or something like that okay okay i i, I will yeah, look it up i will look it up and see but i don't i don't yeah like, maybe i don't even with uh, instagram... we're waiting for your tiktok account yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know even even with instagram i just feel like you know and facebook and twitter and stuff it's like too much too much for me you know i don't i don't have the the energy and power to i think you know you have to like dedicate your whole life to social media if you're gonna do this you know yeah. <laughs> so, in this pandemic, yeah. Right. Like I, even Instagram, you know, I I like I like being on Instagram. It's easy to use and and uh, you know like to connect with people, etc. But but sometimes I just go away for a couple of days, and uh, if it wasn't like for work and connecting with my fans, etc., I would I don't think I would have social media as I feel right now, you know. Oh, so I see. so <laughs> so so let's let's see. We'll see if if uh, I will look it up and see what it is about. Yeah. You might see like shocking. <laughs> I never even started a Snapchat, you know? Snapchat like Ah, uh, I see, yeah. Too much, too much. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. So the last question is like, yeah, many people like in Indonesia, obviously, like we are waiting for your concert, right? So yes. yeah, what's your plan after this? Like the concert itself and I am, the Antes tour, maybe. <laughs> I inshallah, I hope so. I, I'm ready for, for a tour. You know, we had that tour mm -hmm. planned, but it was moved. I, I don't remember why exactly. But um, yeah, so I was really excited to go to Indonesia. We had like a eight city tour, I think, eight cities tour. Oh, so I was really yes. excited. I really, I always enjoy coming to Indonesia, meeting my, you know, uh, uh, Mbako and, uh, you know, like all the buses. And what is the other one? Yeah. Uh, how do you say to men again? Like when you say... Uh, mas. Mas bro, mas. mas bro, mas bro, mas bro. Yeah, mas bro. Yes, exactly. <laughs> bro <sis. laughs> yes, yes. Mas bro and masis. Exactly. So, yes. So, correct, so, correct. So, so, so I'm always... I love I love coming to Indonesia and Southeast Asia. Yes. I really enjoy it. And uh, so I'm, re I'm really looking forward to, inshallah, when all this over. And uh, hopefully it will get back to normal. You know, I, I even think yeah. about this. Like, how will it be after this, you know, when you have a concert? Mm -hmm. How will it be with the audience? Like how, what restrictions would they have? Like, you know, two, two, two meters in between everyone or, yeah. you know, it's like, how, oh, how is or that maybe gonna be? they're using like whole body mask. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, Allah, Allah, you know, know. we'll see inshallah what happens, but I'm really looking forward to it. I, I hope inshallah when all this over, then uh, when all this will be over, you know, I, uh, we can go back and uh, having concerts and meeting I mean. everyone again and stuff. So, so inshallah, I mean, we, we hope we hope for the best, pray for the best, and uh, as as uh, until then, we just have to make the best out of our situation. Stay with our families, yeah. you know, enjoy our times. Many people, you know, this is one hikmah I think that you were asking. A lot of, a yeah, lot of okay. there's a lot of there's a lot of fathers and mothers that work a lot, you know, and stay a lot and travel a lot, like us, for example, you know, in awakening myself. 
We travel a lot. Now we get the chance to stay at home, you know, enjoy our times with our families and kids. And Family. So, so I think we need to make the most out of that, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Amin, ya rabbal alamin. So, thank you so much. Thank wow, you. what a nice talk with you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And once Likewise. again, we would, like, uh, we would like to say congratulations on your single, yeah? Thank you so much. Thank you. Hope it's success. You. And yeah, may Allah bless your family too. I mean, you <laughs> too. You. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, best regards uh, to your family. Thank you. And thank you so much. Sobat Gen also, maybe uh, you want to say something to Sobat Gen? To so Sabah again, we want to say that uh, thank you, thank you all for listening, and uh, inshallah, go watch my new single um, "Anta Salam," and hopefully you like it. Leave a comment below, inshallah, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you so much for Maharzai. Thank, thank you. So you. Much. Bye thank bye. you. Assalamu alaikum. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.